And greetings from the Nanovec Institute for European Studies here at the University of Notre Dame. My name is Clement Sednak, and I serve as interim director of the Nanovec Institute. Welcome to the screening of Gabe Polsky's film, Red Penguins. The Nanovec Institute has a long tradition of bringing films that shed light on Europe to the Notre Dame community and beyond. Ideally, we have the, the film director join us for a screening and a subsequent panel to discuss the film. This afternoon, we are almost in this ideal position. We have the director of the film, we have the screening of the film, and we have a panel afterwards. What is, however, less ideal is the fact that this is a virtual event. There's such an experiment for us. I owe a lot of gratitude to our technical support and our communications team for making this possible. Thank you, Grant Osborne, Mel Webb, Chen Lechtansti, and Jim, Tim Jackley. Thank you so much. And thank you all for joining us in this adventure. Please allow me to explain the choreography of the afternoon. I will introduce Gabe Polsky, the film director, himself, the very Gabe. Then Gabe will offer a brief introduction to the film. After that, we will have the screening of Red Penguins. Please do not use the Q&A button for comments or questions during the screening. After the film screening, we will have a panel discussion discussing the film with director Gabe Polsky, ice hockey legend Peter Stutzny, and Notre Dame professor John Soares. I will introduce our panelists at the beginning of the panel, but I want to say a word of welcome to Mr. Stutzny already now. He's joining us from Bratislava with a six hours time difference. Welcome, Peter, and thank you so much for being with us. I would also like you to know that we will show about two minutes of credits after the film as an opportunity to take a quick break before the panel begins. We expect to begin the panel discussion around 5.30 Eastern time. The panel discussion will allow our dear audience to post comments and to ask questions. So in a nutshell, introduction of the director, remarks by the director, screening of the film, and then a panel discussion. So here's my introduction of Gabe Polsky. Gabe Polsky is a well-known film director, writer, and producer. Born to Soviet immigrants and raised in the Chicago era, uh, he went to Yale University and studied hard, but also played hockey. He's a bridge builder between East and West film and sports. His 2018 documentary, In Search of Greatness, features original interviews with sports world legends, Wayne Gretzky, Pelé, and Jerry Rice. And Gabe has done so much more and will do so much more. Gabe Polsky has graciously collaborated with the Nanovic Institute in the past, having been initially connected to the Institute by Jane Hayden, the wonderful chair of our wonderful advisory board. Gabe visited campus to screen his previous film, Red Army, in 2015, as part of an event on elite athletes and the Cold War. Red Army won a number of awards and was the only documentary included in the official selections at the 2014 Cannes and Toronto Film Festivals. The campus event here in Notre Dame around the film Red Army also featured Peter Stutzny, who will join us for the panel this afternoon as well. The video of Gabe's introduction of Red Army and a panel discussion remain available on the Institute's website. If you look at the chat, you will see that my colleagues have magically put that link in the chat feature for your future reference. We are so grateful, Gabe, that you're with us this afternoon. Maybe please ask you for your introductory remarks and thank you for your film. Clemens, thank you for the, the phenomenal introduction. I really appreciate it. And, and I'm honored to be here again at the Nanovic Institute for European Studies. It's, it's really a pleasure. You know, when I majored in, in political science, um, I never thought that I said, what am I going to do with this major? You know, and I never, you know, wasn't particularly that like passionate about politics, to be honest with you. But then somehow, uh, throughout my film career, I just kind of kept going back to, to the sort of politics and, and, and humanity uh, arena and sort of going back to my sports roots as well. So somehow, somehow I've been able to kind of combine a lot of the things that, that I've sort of worked on in the past into, into, into one continuing passion. So I'm, I'm really excited to, to share this film with you guys. The last thing I, I thought I would do after finishing Red Army was to go back to Russia or, or deal with anything sport related or hockey in Russia. That's the last thing I wanted to do. But then when I, uh, after one of the screenings of Red Army, um, this guy came up to me kind of 
strange looking guy started pitching another story about Russia and, you know, the crazy things that were happening in the nineties and how unbelievable it was. And I really didn't want to, you know, deal with that. But, but when I started, he sent me a whole box of materials. And, and I, when I started looking into it, I, I, I thought it was just the most unbelievable, crazy story about a time that was probably one of the most dramatic periods in, in history from a transition to a totalitarian state to, to a state that had no rules and no laws. And I thought this period of time was sort of untapped and, and really no one had done many films about that period in the nineties. And it really showed what happens when a society collapses. So this is a very kind of fun and exciting film, but at the, at the same time, there's a, there's kind of a really, uh, tragic underbelly here in this film. And, and so I'm really excited to, to hear the feedback afterwards and talk with the great Peter Stasny, who I was a huge uh, fan of his, his unbelievable creative hockey. And now he's involved with politics and so much more. So it's, we're really lucky to have him. So thank you and, and, and enjoy the film. And I'm excited to talk to everybody afterwards.